Your Excellencies, Mr. Kao Duk Fat, Minister of Agriculture and Rural Development, Ms. Margaret Wallstrom, Special Representative of the Secretary General of the, for Disaster Risk Reduction, Vice Minister High, Minister of Ministry of Natural Resources and Environment, ladies and gentlemen. I'm very happy to have received this opportunity to come here today and I uh, would like to thank the IRD and the Ministry for giving me this opportunity to talk uh, at this important conference today. I think the topic of this discussion and the topic over for the next three days are of real important and real concerns to the world today. For millions of people across the world, climate change is already a reality. Variations and sudden changes in the climate are causing death and disease through natural resources in many places. The consequences of climate change, among other intense droughts, storms, floods, and environmental stress, is also holding back efforts to combat poverty and achieving Millennium Development Goals in many places in the world. Denmark has a long history of providing development assistance to community development and addressing climate change in many parts of the world. We were the first country here in Vietnam to support the Vietnam National Target Program to respond to climate change, which is a very comprehensive program that charges all levels of society, including central and provincial government agencies, as well as local authorities, communities, and the local business sector. We have specifically targeted two pilot provinces, Ben Chie and Quang Nam, where a significant part of our support is focused on vulnerable communities in coastal areas. I understand that some of you had the opportunity to actually visit some of the projects in Ben Chie uh, during the last couple of days. I think it's all important to say that although being vulnerable, many local communities have a long history of dealing with climate disasters, and they themselves have developed strategies and means to cope with the effects of climate change. I believe these strategies are crucial along the road of increasing cap capacity and built resilience. Much can be learned from these local survival strategies. It is therefore important to prioritize community-based adaptation that focuses on increasing local capacity and resilience towards climate change. It is important to draw on traditional knowledge on adaptation and as a supplement to modern knowledge and technology, use existing in indigenous solutions uh, and they should play a key role, especially in relation to natural resource management. It's also important to emphasize opportunities created by climate change, the climate change agenda. It can also benefit local communities, including green growth opportunities for local business development. Vietnam has already approved a climate change strategy, and a green growth strategy will be ready very soon. I think it's important that these strategies go hand in hand, and it's cru crucial that these strategies are implemented and do not stay on paper. And we are certainly committed to support these efforts. I sincerely hope that this conference will provide guidance and necessary assistance to the governments, scientific communities, and non-governmental organizations to address the impacts of climate change. And I hope that the learning and the experience from this conference will be brought back to the communities after the conference. I wish you all a productive and very successful con conference. Thank you very much.